Greetings! This is Elias Kineser, and the following demonstration is from my Citrix ZenApp 6 training course. Now, if we wanted to do delegated access, if we wanted to get a little more granular with what we're giving them access to, and we're trying to organize things, so under servers, let's assume you, you had a lot of servers here, and you've started to organize these servers into folders. If you right click on the node here, you can create folders. And let's say you wanted to create a folder for CRM. If you create a folder for CRM and you check the, the box here, copy permissions from the parent folder, then this folder will inherit the permissions that the servers get. I'm just going to keep that one disabled, or I'm not going to check it for now. I'm just going to click OK. And moving servers into folders is very easy. You can uh, select the uh, the ZenApp server that you want, drag and drop it into the folder, and bada bing, bada boom, it, it goes in there. Now, in order for you to, to attach permissions on a particular for, folder, you can select CRM, right click. We're going to drag down to other tasks, and then we're going to select permissions. Now, you'll notice the only two permissions that are added here are the administrator and read only. Now, when we were creating the Citrix help desk role, we didn't grant the help desk any type of privilege over the server's role. Now, there's one of two things that you can do. You can either go back in and modify the role and give them access over servers. Or as you can see here, you can add that particular farm administrator group. Once you've added that group, you'll see the view here is very helpful because it tells you what type of access this user has access to. What can this user do? You'll notice that they don't have any type of access over servers. Now, if you click on OK, the change won't take. So let's go ahead and click OK just to demonstrate. And if I go back into CRM here under permissions, it's gone. Now, you can do two things again. You can either select it one more time, click OK. And you can edit that particular role over here from this, so you don't have to go to the other window basically and change it. The only caveat here is you can only change it to one of the default settings. So you won't be able to manipulate the permissions completely. So if you give it full administration, then you're making the Citrix help desk group full administrator over the farm. So I don't recommend that you make the change here. I would recommend you cancel and cancel out and go back into the administrators node right click on Citrix help desk drag down to administrator properties select permissions and then you can choose servers and you'll notice that under servers the CRM folder has now shown up so if you go under and select CRM and you give it basically full control over the CRM folder and click OK will you be able to access CRM the answer is, in order for you to access the CRM with full control, users still have to be able to see the servers folder. So here's what you did. You gave them access over the sessions, over the servers, and over published applications. What you need to do under the server, under the parent container, is give them at least view access. So under sessions, for the servers, you're going to give them view sessions. Under servers, you are going to give them view server information. So you're going to have to give them some access to the parent folder before they can see the child folder. So if I click on OK now, let's take a look at what happened under the servers folder here by going to other tasks, permissions again. So we now have it with these rights. These are the rights that I have here for the parent folder. Now if I go under CRM, Click on Help Desk, voila. You'll notice that you have checkboxes over everything here. So this gives you an idea of how permissions work. And these permissions are the same whether you're doing it under servers or you're doing it under the applications container. It doesn't matter. The permissions work the same. So be wary of how you use the Edit button here in order to grant access because it only allows you to, to navigate between the three default roles. And it doesn't allow you to get very granular in terms of uh, permissions on that particular folder. Thanks for watching. For more information regarding our training videos, please visit www.trainsignal.com.